I mean, no bias, of course. If, if something happens, something happens. We'll see. So, game one going over to Kalos. Uh, starting out, Jen spacing out a little bit with auto reticle. That looked like he actually had a combo off of that uh, down air there. Off of the nair, and that he just wasn't at the right spot for it. I've never seen that. That's interesting. Alright, so Jen starting off on an aggressive foot. He's maybe as keen to go home early as we are. We'll see. Go off stage. See, that was about as well spaced as you can get it, and he still got punished for that, but only because he held the shield just in case. He was being a little too defensive about it, and he was ready to capitalize with the grab. Mm -hmm. A lot of mid brain. And see, Jen, Jen always does that where he tries to soften up at the when mid range is like as hard fought as it is here. As much as people like to go on about like Palutena, Nair, Fair, back air, etc., um, they will not win out entirely against you know Fire Emblem or Sword. Yeah. So you'll see him back up and he'll go for those auto reticles or those explosive flames to just try to pressure people like, no, 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 come to me. It's cool, really. Absolutely. Let me have the stage control, please. I'm not saying it's like his please get this pressure off me option, but it's definitely something that you see he sort of plays back and gives up a little bit of stage control. Right. Playing back a little bit there. Gets E to back off just a bit. You can kind of tell, like, the way he is, like, standing there, like, in a lot of these situations, it's almost like there's, like, a bubble around him, and Jen is, like, respecting the entire sphere yes. around him. You see him there, like, he was standing in center, and he was just like, all right, I'll go from one end to the other end, but I'm just going to approach from the sides. And I think that's, like... That's how I used to talk about uh, footsies with characters, is just imagining that you have a bubble around you of all the different ranges of your moves. Uh, yeah, the double up the burst range. Yes, and E has a really good idea of that, although that's unfortunate. He tried to go for the running forward tilt because he thought he had Jen a little stuck in place, but mm -hmm. then Jen approaches the full shield. And then we go for a ride on the narrow plane. What? He just gave up all of his stage control. He just died because of that misinput. That is unfortunate. Goodness gracious. All right, goes for the tech chase there. Actually fakes out going for the uh, no tech chase. Spacing out. All right, nice. Good counter poke on that though. See, every time Jen gets stage control, unless it's off stage, uh, Mr. E just takes it right back. Like, he's so aggressive with how he asserts himself mid-stage. Interesting to watch, honestly. Mm. Right. Right. Mr. E keeping the hitboxes out, but the vulnerability low. And see, you'll, he never like fades too far back from that mid-stage because he doesn't need to. Like, yeah. There's very much what Palutena can threaten, even with her range, but that stuff can just be shielded. You know, you can show Palutena's aerials, etc. Unless she goes for a crazy option like, oh, I'm going to dash grab you, oh, I'm going to dash attack you, etc. Um, and those risks are much more he's favor, so he's typically holding his ground. F smash was a little bit see? Right, stage. Pivot grab. I don't know if it was a misinport or an incorrect read, but grab was the right call. It just wasn't in the right direction. All right, still threatening the area. That's a good duck, by the way. Jumping into ducking it takes a lot of presence of mind to realize that auto reticle will go over your head. There it is. Dash up grab. Your opponent's thinking so much about the footsies that they aren't ready for you to just run right in. A little bit of an uphill battle to get this, but I think it could be doable. Palutena's low percent conversions are still pretty nice. Not if he gets his auto reticle run under. That's. Ooh, that's gonna cost him a lot of stage. Alright. Nice. Uh, the... okay. yeah. Alright. There's that percent. 40%, and he gets stage control. I think Jen is gonna. No, I don't know. I, I... 
it, what I feel is uh, gonna happen is like if he gets him off stage, he's gonna go for like a Hail Mary. Yes. Like, um, like stuff him before he gets the up B out, which is like because Jen is Jen has been trying to keep him off stage, uh, but he is like determined to get back and put his foot's game on, uh, and he's. He keeps winning it, is the thing. So if he can put a Hail Mary. Oh my Yo! god. Do it is again. That, oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Shield tilt. He was waiting for the jump out of shield there. All right. Nice. Nice to it. No down there. Uh. Ooh, okay, that'll do it. Nice call out on the jump. Palatina. I feel like that's the. Because you know there's panic options for everybody, and I would argue every character. I feel like that's the go-to when you're feeling a little stressed. Up and tilt? You want... No, 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 not up tilt. Um, jump Nair onto your opponent's shield, which enabled that up tilt. That's what that was a call. Ah, uh, well, I mean, like if if you shielded, he would have been he would have like just pressured his shield and landed behind him. So yes, I mean, yeah, you're not wrong though. I mean, that's the thing. I'm not saying that, oh, he should never use that option. Yeah. It's a fantastic one. Just that. Um, Sometimes it's a bit of a default and it's like mix a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's it's not something you can always rely on. Yeah. I'm not sure that there's anything in this game that is so safe that you can just use, use it without thought, especially in a high tension moment when you play back to your fundamentals. All right. He keeping him off stage. Gets a really low connect with the up air, so that's going to get him a lot of damage. That wasn't a bad call there, too, because even if he'd gotten the shield, he could have, uh... Like, uh although, Jesus Christ. Thank for a ride with up airs. Actually, he's facing himself out outside of the fair range, too, which is good. I like how uh, Mystery sort of covers just the option of if the opponent's going to run in with that running, mm -hmm. uh, sliding F tilt. He doesn't go so far because, I mean, if he hits the opponent's shield, he's getting punished. So he doesn't opt to aim where the opponent is, just where they could be. And then if it doesn't hit, uh, I mean, you're going to whip punish me on reaction? Not likely. Yeah, Bye. <laughs> I'm off the stage. I'm air dodging away. All right. <laughs> the stand menacingly to outfit some. That's a classic. Nice. That was a really good counter poke. Or a whiff punish, not a counter punch. Let's see. It's a lot of playing around with their timing, too, because Jen does need to make work with dash attack, because Nair is a little bit slow. Fair is fast, but doesn't have fantastic range on it, and back air is kind of punishable on whiff. So he's trying to go for these options, and not Hail Mary so much, but uh, throwing himself close range every once in a while. And they're more or less just playing to each other's tempos at this point, trying to get in at the right time, or bait at the right time. Right. We're back on stage. Reason still doesn't get the punish on that one. Warp has very little. All right, nice. Takes it out with the Nair. All right, falls over with the fair. That actually looked like he might have gotten a back air punish out of that one, but I'm not sure. Typically, if Lucina is very close to you when she hits you with an aerial, uh, it's not a safe turn. This is off stage. Only gets one fair with it though. Uh oh. Yeah, nice. I think that's no jump too. Yes, very good. Yeah, you could tell because he's just like teleporting and like he air dodged on the on that juggle instead of like jumping. I haven't seen the falling uh, up there as a landing option like that very often. Oh man, who are you countering? Yeah. Jen maybe feeling a little bit of pressure here. Using a little bit of those projectiles. Although those projectiles aren't exactly a fantastic answer to pressure themselves because if you miss, that's a standard fireball. I mean, you're going to get hit hard. Nice. Oh my. Fantastic chase off stage. He wasn't letting them come back that time. He had all the cards in his hand. Right. Oh, he so, read where he was going to telecancel. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> I don't know. This is looking pretty solidly in East Court. We're going right to see now. a true finals, yeah. All right. uh, this could still be done, though. 
I mean, if Jen can get uh, stage and the ledge specifically and keep E at it. Yeah, this is looking really similar to just game one. So, like, if he can just, like, change up. Oh, that's it. Not up till. <laughs> Same move at that. Although, a different scenario. Not an anti air, but a call out on a roll, uh, which is a very good option for it. Um, does it hit. This is such good thinking music. It's just so gentle. Um, so that up tilt from Lucina's, I'm not certain, but I feel like if that's spaced correctly, you can hit somebody's roll get up and then potentially still hit their shield if not hit them. Say that again? Uh, Lucina's up tilt. Uh -huh. So if you roll get up, as we saw him chase with that, um, you could hit somebody on the roll get up. But I feel like the back end of that, if the opponent is shielding on neutral get up, you still have a good chance of hitting them as well. Of course, if they jump in on you, you have a decent chance to end here. So it's actually a really strong option, despite being kind of slow. Yeah, no, the hero ledge options in general are incredible. Yes. All right, goes for it again. You actually saw um, Mystery was tilting his shield up there too. Like, okay, I'm going to try to prevent the shield poke, but he has to do it anyway. Yeah, I, I mean, like, versus a character like this, I'm really glad that he's just, like, putting that into his game. Because, like, you know, she's, like, literally dancing on your shield. So it's just, you know, uh, use all the tools that you have to prevent that. Yes, do not get shield poked into a 35% yeah. combo into an edge guard. Yo, was that a crot? Did he cross up there or not? That was ambiguous as all hell. No, he didn't cross up, and he did a pivot grab. So. Okay. Oh, I see, I see. I okay. think maybe he's... I don't know. Oh, no, that looks super weird on my end. I thought he'd gone over, but then he slid right back. All right, safe there once again. Uh, Jen respecting those a bit more with the shield. Oh, that's the... <laughs> Oh, man. All right, this is the first time I think uh, Jen is taking the first stock. Yes, first blood is his. Uh, the uh. double up B, just mash it. Okay. I mean, it happened so quickly, it was probably stuck in the buffer. You know what it happened twice? It might have been. And honestly, until you see the move happen once, there's kind of no reason not to mash it. I mean, because it's, you know, it's going to put you in free fall anyway. So might as well make sure it gets out as soon as possible. Chase, still nothing. All right. Yeah, no kill on that one. Nice. Tricky with that again, but he has learned from his mistakes. He's, like, not moving. He's just like, <laughs> do whatever. I'll wait. I'm a, I'm, I'll wait, because I'm going to uh, edge guard you. That's... He has no jump. I don't know that he can make that back. Yeah. Good call out on... Well, I don't even know that that was so much a call out, but it's like, oh, presence of mind. He's going to air dodge. He has yeah. to, to get back. Let me just explosive flame this. I don't think I have yet seen someone successfully air dodge oh through an explosive God. flame. Four multi-hits. <laughs> Four multi-hits, and that thing's huge. Like, maybe if you're a tiny character it's and like, or a fast faller. It's like, how many times did he get hit just there? Like, 60 times? Something like that. Nice threatening the space. Has a good read on him. Gets him back. See, like, he just reversed that super well. Actually, even dodges out of the counter, too. All right. Misses off stage a little heavy. No, no down there today. <laughs> he's got to do it. If Mystery is far ahead or far behind, he's got to do it. He's got to be ready for it. Ooh, okay. That's not going to be it. It is. Okay. It is. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, I've seen uh, you do that a lot. I got hit by that actually a lot earlier when I was playing it. Um, the down tilt, because, I mean, it's quick. You know, it whiffs super fast. Um, but I feel like it's out just enough to give people the mindset of, oh, there's a move coming out. I'll just... I don't know, neutral get up or whatever, because he's doing something, you know, I'm not going to be punished. And yeah. then you literally get up into his grab. It's already there. All right, so Jen getting rid of Smashville and Yoshi's story. Mm -hmm. uh, 
I think we're going to see Battlefields. He was hovering over it. Oh, Unova. That is a pretty standard counterpick to Palu, but nah, he's just going to go back to Battlefield. See, the thing is, is the counterpick is there. I, I mean, the biggest thing that I know that for is because of how the teleports work. Uh, if you try to go straight down, you will not recover. But um, besides that, I'm not sure that it's such a bad stage for Palutena. I, is it smaller than the other stages? What? Um, Unova. Huh? Is Unova, like, I know it's not Smash oh, Bros. but... Let me, I, uh, let me look it up real quick. Yes. Unova compared to, like, FD. Yeah, like FD, uh, Battlefield, Kalos. They were, uh, Unova's slightly bigger than FD. Really? I never would have guessed. All right. it's yeah, upstairs. it's like ever so Oh, slightly. no, no tech. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, that's going to be a really big deciding factor in this match, I feel like. Mystery already getting them off stage again. All right, so not a not a great way to start out a game. No, I mean, see, the thing is right is that both of these players are really good at pressing their advantage at the ledge. But even with that, I feel like we've seen them play evenly enough that Jen is gonna like have to play phenomenally for the rest of the game to make it work for him. Yeah. He's doing a good job so far. Landing right in front of him though, he might have been on the I feel like he was there. like. Uh, like last second, like changing his mind whether he wanted to go off stage for the cross up, and then like he went in too long, and then eventually back down. Went, I'm in grab range now. Like yeah. he definitely, if he had just like touched his shield at the edge, and then just uh, pulled back immediately. That's a good point, honestly, because I mean, taking the grab, he was tossed off stage anyway. So one could argue that, oh, if you're gonna give up the stage, you might as well get it hit in. But mm -hmm. not bad. He's getting in with uh, 76 percent, which is no like undoable deficit, but it's a deficit nonetheless. He playing the slow Ugh. space. <laughs> He's doing the uh, the dill chase with the down tilts. Nice. Yeah, imagine if, if Rob's on arms were actual swords. Oh, Lord. Not no. Not this channel. No, Just thank sword. you. No, thank you. Think, think about it. How many characters in this game are so strong just because they have one sword, but a character with two? Yeah. Anyway. So we have even stocks. So if Jen, any, any percent he can build on before losing the stock, he'll be closing the gap. I mean, he's done a good job. That yeah. was 60% uh, uh, straight uh, right there. All right, auto reticle working out. That honestly could have killed him. I think auto had... reticle is actually like pretty useful in this matchup. Yes, I agree. So, um, like, the space that she wants to be in, in that like that low aerial zone, means that like the auto reticle isn't gonna go too high. So when she lands, like, it still like stuffs her. Yes. Or like she can't move under it or whatever. And Jen turns the stock completely around. I'm surprised that killed, honestly. I mean, Max that was rage. A, that's true. That's true, Max Rage. But that also means that Jen is one stray hit. I was waiting for it. I knew it was coming, damn it. Jen knew it was coming, too, and fades out of the way. Wow. I ain't going to do it. 180? Can we see the big 200? Nope. All right. Last stock. Last stock. Completely evened out from that unfortunate SD in the beginning. Yep, and um, potentially Dill's tournament, or not Dill. Yeah, Dill's Jen. tournament. Jen's tournament stock, wow. Uh, all right. Yeah, oh well, man. Jen is not giving him any any space to breathe. Yeah, See, look at that. Yes, that. so the one thing about that is I think that's very good, but it all depends on the timing. If he, Thank is that you. it? Oh my god, that's it, okay. Jen takes it very nice. What a convincing turnaround from such an yeah. uh, upsetting start. That yeah, was fantastic. Like, let's look at those. So here's here's where he dies. Mm -hmm. Right? Peace out. There yeah. we go. So that was unfortunate there. You see Jen shaking his head too, like, oh I could have had that. I don't know what else I was gonna be looking for. Mm -hmm. Um Back throw, very typical Palutena stock, especially towards the ledge right there. And then you've got, yeah, he was only at 100, and he gets in with that, plowing through what looked like the second hit of Nair. Yep. Very, very standard. And then he was, what percent? Okay, 100, 
112% is understandable then. That's very understandable for death at that. And mystery just sort of... I don't want to call it biting time because you're not biting time. You know, you're trying to make sure you don't get up predictably. But didn't have a lot of time with all the rage that he had sitting on him. Yeah. So, I don't know. Jen just, like, took the momentum and ran with it yep. in the past two minutes. 